Hey guys, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today we have the last two na 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 surprise dolls that we need for our collection. Uh, because as you may recall, Amazon kind of messed up a little bit and sent me the wrong dolls, which does seem to be happening to a lot of people. So I went to target.com and ordered um, the uh, Sailor and the Pirate uh, for my collection. And uh, so we're gonna open those now. Uh, I chose not to return the, my, the, the ones that I got that I had already had, um, but I will, I got a note to myself to like write a review and write to Amazon to let them know that they sent me the wrong thing. Sorry, I needed a sip. And, um, sorry mom, I'm filming. Um, and uh, I also let MGA know, just so that they know that it's, it's a thing that's happening, although I'm sure they're already aware of it. So, parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, people who buy toys for kids. These are super cool, super, super cool. They're around $20. Um, this is the latest version. This is the Sparkle series, not on a Sparkle series. Na na na, na 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 surprise, Sparkle Series 1, which gives me hope that there will be more glitter in our futures. Um, if you are looking for a great last minute small gift, um, it's, it's likely that uh, the kid or doll collector in your life does not have this. Um, and if you're buying more than one, just look for the little black and white symbol on the box and that will ensure that you do not uh, get duplicates. So, all right. So, this one has the anchor on it. Anchors of my... Now, I mentioned this in my other videos, but just in case this is the first one you're seeing, I just want you to know that there's confetti involved. So, if you are opening this at somebody else's house, just check to see what their confetti tolerance is before you let your kid go ham on uh, opening up this toy. Um, because some people are just, you know, a little uptight when it comes to things like confetti. I don't know. Some people are. Most people are cool, I think. It's 2020, if you're upset about confetti, man. <laughs> just, mm. All right, so where's the confetti? Okay, so this is what it is. So you, you get to open that up and then you have this baggie over here. And I'm going to try and get a better shot of this. I haven't been doing a good job of getting the confetti explosion on film. Film? Film? What's film? Video. So I'm going to try and do this a different way. All right, so you stick, you get a straw. You stick the straw in here. It's kind of like blowing up a Mylar balloon. And you go... And you have to be really careful not to over-inflate. So I'm going to go back a little further, okay, from the camera. I'm gonna try to go kind of shoot it up, all right? And then you pull off that tab and I said shoot it up. And then you go, ready? Yay! And so that's part of the surprise. And then your desk will look like that. Um, my studio is covered in little kitty, and the confetti is really cute. So you could reuse it for parties. Little bunny ears, bear ears, kitty cat ears, circles, diamonds, squares. It's all very cool. Um, so once you've done that, that's just, you know, for fun. <laughs> it serves no purpose to the doll. It's just fun. So then you open up this green bag here and inside, prepare to be excited, is this. It's so cute. Now I am in the middle, I told you guys in the previous episodes that I am um, in the middle of reorganizing and kind of, you know, culling, the culling of the makeup that I do every year at this time, because you really shouldn't keep like eyeshadow palettes for like years. That's very not healthy. Um, and lipsticks and you gotta let things go. So I'm in the process of like, look at how the sequins, look at this little shark. Is he a shark or is he a dolphin? Uh, I guess he's a dolphin because he doesn't have a fin at the top. Wait, but don't dolphins, do dol dolphins have fins? Help me out here, people. What is this supposed to be? It's a fish of some kind. Uh, this is like my favorite. I'm just loving the blue on this. And so then you open this up and then inside there's this thing. Now I'm really hoping they can come up with a way to do this with a little less packaging. Um, and I know they're always working on it um, because there is a lot of plastic. So then inside here, 
is the doll and then all of the uh, surprise outfit components. So here we go. Ta-da! Here she is. Oh, I lied. The uh, surprise components are not in there. They're in the bag. They're in the bag, Melissa. Oh, sorry, not been sleeping well. Her hair is really long. Oh, and look at it. Look at her hair. It's not just one solid color. She's got highlight. You know why? Because she's, she's a sailor. She's out. She's out. Out in the sun a lot. So, of course, her hair would be highlighted. It's feeling a little bit. I don't know. Every once in a while with the with the Na 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 dolls, you get this, like, slight, like, um, kind of greasy feel to the hair. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, I'm loving the hat. And here's her face. So one thing that has been an issue, and I think we all, we're, we're all seeing it. Look at the stockings. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Oh, look at how cute she is. Oh, and I love this. One of the things that we're all kind of like, what's going on here is, um, all right, here's the rest of the stuff. The surprise components are in this bag, sorry. Um, is that... The every Na 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 doll we have had, everyone, whether it's the Na 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 teens or these Na Na Na's, have been fairly light skinned. Like this is about, I think, as dark as the skin gets. And um, so I'm hoping that they're trying to figure out how to make dark skinned Na Na Na's. So here's the checklist. So we will have all of them. I'm really not in love with this one. Um, because what it is, uh, parents, is this is fabric. This is fabric over plastic. So there's a little bit of like softness and squishiness. It's just a really nice feeling. I think these are a really just, these are such a different thing. They are articulated um, in their legs so they can sort of sit down, but really, trust me, they don't sit well. Um, and their arms uh, can go up and down. Um, so, but there's this this fabric and then there's, you know, the, the screen printing onto the fabric to create, you know, the underwear and um, the face makeup and stuff. Um, and I'm hoping that they will figure out a way to do a darker fabric to therefore convey a darker skin tone. Because um, that's something we, that, like, you know, I think we spend a lot of time with MGA saying, you know, we love the quality. We just wish you had more diversity in skin tone. And we spend a lot of time when we're talking about Mattel, like, love the diversity, please up the quality. Um, like, if they could just have a baby um, and make a quality, diverse line of dolls, yay! This is her little sailor suit. Now, I love this because this used to be a thing. Um, these little sailor dresses. And I have pictures of my mom as a little teeny girl in a little teeny sailor dress. Very cute. Um, it was a very, very cute thing. They used to put boys in the little sailor suit, but they had a little sailor dress for the girls, and I think that's so cute. Um, so this just really gave me all the nostalgia vibes. Um, here we go. It's also kind of reminding me, so um, Netflix has the first two seasons of Ink Master. I don't understand why Netflix doesn't have all the seasons of Ink Master, because I thought they did, and my husband and I just like in a weekend binged two seasons of Ink Master. But I love when they do pinup day, um, because pinups come from sort of this sailor, um, uh, military kind of vibe. Um, and I, But I always like the kind of sailor themed and pirate themed pinups. Look at her in her little dress and this hat. Now the hats don't come off. They're, they're, they're just sewn to their head and their hair is just like that. It, with the exception of our friend, hello Marina, her hair is rooted. She does not have a hat and she's adorable. She is the harder to find uh, special addition in, in this, in this line in this series. Um, and she's adorable. She costs the same. But you're, but you're. I like her glasses on her more than I like her glasses off her, but they don't stay on very well if you, if you, if you move her around a lot. So put your glasses on girl. There you go. Um, so let's get her shoes on. Her shoes will be the last thing and then we can get to the pirate shoes. Now her name is, they do have names. Uh, this is Sailor Blue. 
Sailor Blue. Good name. It's like Sailor Moon, but blue. Okay. Oh my god, the shoes! Oh, oh, look at the shoes. Now look at the back of the shoe. Look at that. You see that buckle? Look, look at the bow. Oh, I'm dying right now. I am dying at the red, white, and blue sandals with the bows on the back. Oh my gosh. And I want a tattoo of just these shoes. Oh my gosh, I have no tattoos, by the way. But I do want one someday. Just kind of never get around to Oh, look at the shoes on her. Look at these shoes. I gotta turn you around. Gotta lift your hair up so everybody can see your shoes. Oh, it's so cute. And then with the little bows on the socks. Ah! Oh! These are so, so cute. Ooh. Okay, and so we have one more to open. And this one, <laughs> it's the pirate. And the pirate was, when I saw the pirate, I think she was one of the first, I'm calling her the pirate. She has a name, Becky Buccaneer. That was like, for me, I was like, oh, yeah, I need these. And um, she's been the hardest one to get my hands on because I ordered her from Amazon and I got the wrong thing. Um, here we go. I'm afraid I'm going to lose a nail because I'm wearing press-on nails and I didn't glue them. I'm just using the press-on adhesive. And you know, those, anybody who's ever done that, you know, those, those, it seems like they're solid and then all of a sudden they're just flying off and they're stuck in your hair. Back when I was in high school or college, I can't remember which, I had a spiral perm and I used some press-on nails and then I ran my hand through my hair and ended up with like nails lost somewhere in the mounds of spirally permed hair. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, they've come a long way since then. I'm trying to get the thing into the thing so I can blow it up. It's not working. Um, yeah, the, this adhesive is much better, but it's not like gluing them on. Um, but since they're Christmas E, I I mean, they, I could use them for New Year's Eve too, but you know, I just felt like, Whatever. Okay, here we go. Okay. And now I'm going to you pull, you have to pull this little piece off. All right, let's do it. Up in the air seemed to go better. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! My husband's going to be like, again, with the confetti. I got my deal with your confetti. Ooh, this is a big bag. Ooh, Becky's got multiple bags. It's a red and greeny goldy parrot. Because you know, she's she's a, a pirate, so she's gotta have a parrot on her shoulder. <laughs> Can I just walk around with this on my shoulder? <laughs> like, oh, don't mind that lady. She's just got a sequined round parrot thing on her shoulder. We just, we just let her just keep doing that. Just pay no attention to her. It's so cute and I love red. And look at its little, look. Look at how cute it is with this little rainbow. Oh, look, look at its rainbow feathers. Little beak. Oh! You're so cute. I love you. Okay, let's get Becky out. Mom, Becky Buccaneer. Yeah, so I'm gonna use these for like lip products and like little little doodads that I don't use often. And then I'm gonna hang them on command hooks down the side wall by my desk where I don't have anything. So I will have all of these hanging next to me. Cause they're sparkly. I love sparkles. Sparkles make me happy. Uh, come on out. It's fighting me. Becky's putting up a fight, come on. Come on, Becky. Help me out here. Oh, I've got it unzipped all the way. Come on. She's making me work for it. Come on, Becky. Come on, Becky. All right. Ugh. 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 Shouldn't be this hard. Okay. I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, here we go. Let's cut the tape. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see Becky's ready to spring out. I think I think it's probably because of her hat. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ta-da! 
ladies and gentlemen, Becky Buccaneer. You know, you always have to kind of like judge them a little bit because they're like bent backwards in order to be in their little palms as they're called. <gasps> Look at the eye patch. Please note, eye patch is a little kitty skull. That is so cute. And she's got a bandana. See, I was wondering if it was gonna be her hat, but she's got a bandana that is sewn onto her head with her hair. Her hair is like a reddish pink. I think it's reading like super duper red on the camera, but there is a pink tinge to this red. Now check out, check out a couple of things you need to notice about this doll. First of all, check out her bustier. Look at the detail on that. Look at that. Look at the detail on that art. That is so cool. So it's cute, it's adorable. And at the same time, we've got the buckle, we've got the skull and crossbones, and then over here. But then I want you to notice something about her legs. Have you noticed anything about her legs? One of them is wood. Because she's a pirate. She's got a peg leg. I love that little detail. I think that is so cute. That is just, mm, mm, loving it, loving it, loving it. Where, where's the, where's the notch? I know there's a notch in here, here we go. All right, here it is. There's her pirate hat. <laughs> Do I look good in a pirate hat? I never, I don't look good in hats. I'm not a hat person. Okay, let's put on her pirate hat. Mm. Get her pirate hat down over her bandana. Whoops. Flip it back up. Okay. Pirate hat. <gasps> Love it. Love it. And it stays on. Ooh, good. This is her outfit. <gasps> I am so happy with this. Really. I am so happy. Mmm. Worth the wait. Look at her dress. And I want you to understand. Becky's the captain of this ship. Becky's no just wench. Becky is the captain of her pirate ship. She's a pirate. She's not a barmaid serving pirates in a pub on a wharf. Becky is the pirate. I love that. Love that. Becky said women rule. Okay, let's see, how does this go on here? Cause I know you've got like these little shoulder jobbies. Oh, dressing dolls, dressing dolls. Did I do it right? I don't know. Let's see. Let me get, spin her head around. I like that you, they're, they're, they're very flexible so you can kind of get them into their outfits. You just sort of spin their heads around and stuff. You spin me right around, baby, right around. Um, it's funny cause I'm like, I'm very in the eighties in my head today because I'm doing a video next about something that's very eighties related. Can you guess what that video might be? Hmm? What just came out that's got like an eighties theme? Look at the outfit. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, oh, she's so precious. I love her. And there's a way, oh, the boots. Oh, the boots. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the boots. Got your buckles. I guess they're Louboutins. <laughs> Why not? I mean, she is a pirate after all. Um, so like, now I'm doing the talk like a pirate thing, which of course is very annoying. But you know, talk like a pirate day. I don't know what day of the year. I feel like talk like a pirate day is in March sometime and we were just too busy COVIDing to even notice this year. Someone find out and put in the comments, when is talk like a pirate day? And here is, whoop, whoops, the hat kinda. The hat went forward and flopped over. Come on, let's get the hat. Ugh. Okay, here she goes. Here she is. Ladies and gentlemen, Becky Buccaneer. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yup. Now, I mean, I love Ducky. I love Ducky, I love Ducky very much. And I love, I love, I love Sailor Blue. And I love Marina. And I'm, um, you know, I like Andre. What? I'm sorry, man, I'm just, I gotta be honest. 
Um, the only one I didn't really like was the surfer chick. She's on a shelf somewhere. Where the heck is she? Sometimes it's so hard. It's just like stuff gets behind stuff. But she didn't get a prominent position on the shelf because I didn't like her. Um, but I do love these two, but I love Ducky. Mm. I feel like Ducky might still be my favorite. I mean, there's just so, I mean, it's just like so cute and I don't know, but I, I, I really do love Becky. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, either between these two or of all of them. Um, I, I think these are great. I, I keep seeing pictures on Instagram for the na 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 teens that are coming next and oh, so excited. So excited. I'm so excited. We're gonna, I think, I think 2021 is just gonna be another great year for dolls and I am super excited about it. And so until I see you again, I hope you stay well. Love you guys, see you soon.